everyone, welcome to Suflon. Suflon is India's most sincere learning destination for the classes one to ten. Here we are providing 100% live and interactive classes, personalized attention batch with maximum six students. Because we value our students' progress and we want to give a lot of attention to them. And we have a dedicated academic mentor team to track and work on students' progress. And these are our key features. Detailed progress report, self-learn academic test series. That is why you can practice unlimited practice tests from here. And we have subjective tests for school exams. So get ready, book your free trial class today itself and get ready to enjoy the art of learning with self-learn. So welcome everyone for today's session and this is your teacher Nana. And if you like the session, please like, comment and share. So press the bell icon so you won't miss any important updates from us. So this is for the class 5 and our today's chapter is work and energy part 2. So are you ready? If you are ready, get ready with a notebook and pen and let's follow teacher. So these are the objectives we're going to cover by today. So the first one is define energy. The next one is type of energy. And the third one is renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. So let's go. The first one, define energy. Do you know what is meant by energy? So every day we are performing a lot of tasks, right? We are running, jumping, walking and moving around. So for doing all these things, we need energy. So the ability for doing work is known as the energy. Here we go. Please note down energy is defined as the ability, okay, the ability for doing work. That is known as the energy. So can you create energy? That is the another question. Can you create? What do you think? Can you create the energy? No. So we cannot create energy or we cannot destroy it. It can only be changed from one form to another. For example, imagine this is the arrow. Okay, this arrow consider this as the energy. So this energy we cannot create or nor be destroyed. But we can change it form from one form to another. Like we can divert it this way, this way, this way, like so many ways. But we cannot create or destroy it. That is why the matter and the energy within the universe remain constant. Like, so here we go. Imagine this is the universe and the total energy, the total energy and the mass will remain the same. Rel remain constant all the time without any change. That is why the energy cannot be created nor be destroyed, but it can change from one form to another. So get ready. Let's look at another topic. So there are different forms of energy. So can you name any of the three energies? See how we have, we have different forms of energy which is present within the universe. So let's look at it. The first one, the first one is the mechanical energy. The first energy is the mechanical energy. So the mechanical energy we can divide into two categories. The first one is the kinetic energy and the second one is the potential energy. So actually the mechanical energy is the sum of the potential energy and the kinetic energy. So what is meant by kinetic energy? So kinetic energy means moving energy, okay? So the moving energy, potential energy means an object possess one energy and its state. That is the potential energy. So what is the mechanical energy? So mechanical energy means the moving energy plus an object stored an energy. That is the potential energy. So basically it's a sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. So look at over here, the car is moving, right? The car is moving. So the mechanical energy means the energy possessed by an object due to its position or motion. So take note, the energy possessed by an object due to its position or motion. 
that is the mechanical energy and here we go look at it so this is the potential energy so we learned that mechanical energy is due to the motion or position so when it comes to the potential energy the energy is possessed by an object due to its position please note this down so the potential energy is due to the position of an object so it's clear what is the kinetic energy so the kinetic energy means the energy produced or the energy possessed by an object due to its motion so position means potential energy and motion means the kinetic energy the kinetic energy means the moving energy so look at over here the water is moving right so it possesses one energy that is the kinetic energy here we go these are the perfect examples for the potential energy and kinetic energy so look at the first scenario here we go so the girl stretches the arrow right but it's not that moving yet so that is why it is potential energy it has the potential energy when the arrow is stretched and it is at rest so it has the potential energy and it completely changes over here in this picture because the arrow has a movement as soon as the arrow is released the energy gets converted to kinetic energy so here the potential energy because it it is at rest but here the potential energy converted to kinetic energy because a motion or a movement which has happened within this arrow so we are down with the mechanical energy kinetic energy and the potential energy now we are going to learn about another type of energy so have you ever went for campfire so have you ever touched have you ever tried to touch the fire so we felt some sensation right when we try to touch the fire touch the fire we will feel some hot sensation like it's a heat sensation right yes we feel warm due to the heat produced by the fire so that is a heat energy the energy which is responsible for the sensation of heat from this topic like from this heading itself we can understand that energy is related with the heat so the energy which is responsible for the sensation of the heat is known as the heat energy so what is the biggest source of heat energy here we go this is the one our sun sun is the biggest source of heat energy we get the heat energy from sun or burning fuels like wood and coal when we will burn the wood and coal with the fire we will get the heat energy have you ever tried to walk during night time without light what will happen we won't able to see anything right exactly so the light energy is an energy help us to see things during dark time so just like the heat light is also a form of an energy okay light is also a form of energy here we go the light bulb right it has an energy that is the light energy it makes things visible to us if the it is possible light the vision is possible through the light energy right yes so can you tell me the light source which makes things visible to us in the day day time what is the biggest source you can do it go ahead absolutely it's the sun sun is the biggest source of light energy so not only sun we have another source of energy as well that is the candle bulb torch tubes and so on these are the things produce us light energy so it's time to revise 
So what is the difference between potential energy and kinetic energy? So potential energy means the energy possessed by an object due to its position. Always remember the term the energy possessed by an object due to its position which is known as the potential energy. So what is meant by kinetic energy? Which means the energy possessed by an object due to its motion. Okay, due to its motion. That is meant by the kinetic energy. And what, which is the biggest source of light energy? Which is the biggest source of light energy? What do you think? It's the? What is this? It's the? Sun. Sun is the biggest source of light energy. And here we go. A flower pot is kept on top of the building. Which energy is possessed by the pot? Which one? It's the potential energy. We have another examples for that as well. So if we kept the cycle on top of a hill or we will put a book on top of our head, all are potential energy. So get ready over here. Let's look at another energy as well. So this is a magnet, right? Have you ever used magnet to attract the things? Have you ever played with magnet? It's really fun. So magnetic energy. So magnetic energy means, so this is a magnet, this is the iron object. Okay, so there is energy or there is a force released by a release between the magnet and the iron object. Okay, and this force is due to the energy which is known as the magnetic energy. So there is a force which applies between the magnet and the iron object and this force is due to an energy and that energy is the magnetic energy. So the energy associated with the magnets are known as the magnetic energy. And this is the, you know, the form of energy. You can see from this picture the person is walking and the car is coming and someone is cycling. So the while crossing the road we hear horn from different vehicles and act accordingly. How is it possible to hear horns? It's because of yes sound energy. So sound is also a form of energy which travels in a wave form. Here we go. This is the wave form. Okay, this is the waveform. So the sound energy, energy associated with the sound and it travels in the waveform. So name the ultimate source of energy on the earth. Which one is the ultimate source? Of course, it's the sun. So the solar energy. Solar energy means a huge amount of energy we get from the sun. That is why sun is the unlimited and the huge source of energy within the universe. You can see that from the picture, there's a sun and these are the solar panels. And these panels get energy from the sun and we use this for several purposes. And this energy is known as the solar energy. The energy from the sun is known as the solar energy. And it is used by the plants for preparing food, right? During photosynthesis, the plants using the sunlight or the solar energy to prepare the food. The solar energy also a source of light and heat energy. So in my house, we have a lot of solar panels. That is why uh, we have solar heater, solar cooker and so on. So for these appliances, we use the solar energy to run. And do you remember what is wind? What is a wind? So wind is a moving air is called the wind. You can see the paddy feel. It's moving because of the air, right? Because of the wind. So moving air is the wind. So wind has some energy as well. Do you agree the statement? Wind do possess energy. Of course, it possesses one energy, that is the wind energy. It is a great source of energy. 
so we can feel the moving air right this means air have some energy this energy from the wind is known as the wind energy so you can see the windmills okay and this windmills we have we use us to produce the electricity okay we situate the windmills uh, within big fields which has a lot of a uh, wind okay if the place has a lot of air movement or very good wind energy we will situate this windmills over there and with the motion of the wind this windmill will work and we will get electricity so you must have various electric appliances like mixer iron fans etc in this modern astrida we are relying upon a lot of appliances like electric appliances at home fan refrigerator mobile phone and so many more so how we can run this appliances so we need some energy for this one that kind of energy is known as the electrical energy look at over here so this energy we use us to run all the appliances electrical appliances electrical energy is a form of energy which is used to run the electric appliances like television computer ac's fan and so many more let's imagine one day there there is no electric energy in the universe what will happen we cannot run any of the electronic appliances right yes so we get energy from various sources let's study about them so the source of energy we can divide into two okay the first one is the renewable energy and the second one is the non renewable sources like sorry the first one is the renewable sources and the second one is the non renewable sources so what is meant by the renewable sources which means the source of energy we cannot use completely right so thus the type of sources are known as the renewable sources renewable energy sources are present in large amount and cannot be used completely that is why it is known as the renewable sources and can you tell me some sources which gives the large amount of energy continuously what is the biggest source of energy in the universe it's the sun absolutely correct sun and wind like water all these are the renewable source of energy and all this energy we cannot use completely right that is why and these also the examples of the renewable sources of energy so what is meant by the non renewable sources of energy and this energy sources are very limited within the universe and can be used up completely so what are the sources of non renewable uh, renewable sources of energy do you know yes that are the coal petrol diesel natural gases etc because these sources are available in limited amount and we requires thousands of years to recycle all these products that is why always remember to use wisely and carefully prevent overuse of the non renewable sources and here we go let's do this activity thank you for waiting be focused okay all right so i'm going to put this water on top of here and olive oil on top of this burner i'm going to link the heaters and up so let's observe what will happen to the water and what will happen to the olive oil look at it you can do it be focused yes you can see that the water starts started to evaporate and there is no changes yet for the olive oil right so after some time we will observe that water starter starts to evaporating whereas oil remains its original state due to the difference its temperature so let's revise 
Why do we need electrical energy? Why do we need it? Yes, it's because we have a lot of electric, electrical appliances at home and everywhere. If we want to run these electrical appliances, we require some energy and that energy is known as the electrical energy. And which energy is responsible for magnet to attracting ions? It's the magnetic energy. So what is the difference between renewable and non-renewable resources? So renewable resources means we can use, we cannot use the sources completely such as the sun, wind and water. But when it comes to non-renewable resources, we can use it and it's very limited. So it will be finished soon if we won't use it properly and wisely. So this is the value-based question. In the winter season, John gifted an electrical heater to his grandfather. The electrical heater uses electricity to increase room temperature. Write down the energy transformation in the electrical heater. What is the answer? So the electrical uh, energy, let the electric energy converted to the heat energy. And what values show are shown by John? John is really helpful and loving towards his grandfather, right? He's very helpful. So today we learned about different forms of energy such as the mechanical energy, heat energy, light energy, magnetic energy, sound energy, wind energy, electrical energy, and renewable and non-renewable sources of energy. And I hope it's really clear. Thank you everyone for coming today and watching the session. And well done. And if you like the session, please like, comment, and share. And thank you for coming today. Be safe and healthy at home. Bye.